and welcome back to the Carrie Whistler. My name is Rose, and welcome to my channel, if this is your first time being here. Today, instead of the regular tin whistle tutorial that I do normally, we are going to be talking about session tunes. A little fact, session tunes are defined by lots of people by tunes that are super well known around the Irish music community, so well known that you can play with so many people with this tune. So like if you walk into a pub, then you can call out this tune. I bet at least three-fourths of the people will know this tune. So today we're going to be talking about the most popular ones. So if you ever get stuck in a session, you can always know. What do people know, huh? What is the most popular? So, before I go into this whole ramble about session tunes, I could talk forever about it, but we're not going to. I'm just going to name them off, and in the background, you're going to hear a little bit of what they sound like. So then, if you like them, I will put the notes down below in the description. They, I usually find them on thesession.com, the best site. And basically, just I'm going to put them down there so you can learn them, and then you will know what to play in your next session. Let's go. The fifth most popular tune that is played out there is called the Banshee Reel. It is super popular if you call it out in a, t in a pub. Most people will know it. I mean, it's very simple. It's very catchy in your head. It has a very nice beat. And for those reasons, I think that is why it's a very popular session tune. It's very simple to learn. It's not too hard. It doesn't have too much orientation that uh, sorry, ornamentation that you have to add to it. I mean, really, you can add whatever you want, but if you want to just keep it simple and play with others that way, that's good too. Number four is the Maid Behind the Bar. It is very simple. It is one of the most popular tunes out there, as per se this title, and it has a lot of repeated sections in it. So that's why it really, it's very simple, and that's why a lot of people love it. It's also very catchy. The second part and first part match together very nicely, and so I assume that's why the Irish like it, and that's why it's played all around. It's only two parts, so you don't have to worry about so many parts. It's very nice if you add some or ornamentation in there, but you don't have to, of course. If you, don't, if you want a tune that you can play with a lot of people, then I would suggest this one. Number three is the Silver Spear Reel. Notice these have been reels most of the time. Don't worry, the next two will be jigs. Basically, the Silver Spear Reel is very popular because of how many tunes you can put after and before it. It's very... I don't know. It can be with a variety of tunes. And most of these tunes are also very well known. So if you have a set and one of them has the Silver Spear in it, well then, that's a very well-known set, I assume. This tune is also very fun to learn, so if you want to learn it, you can go into the notes down there and find it. It's very simple, it's very easy. It's like a lot of these tunes, because session tunes aren't meant to be extremely hard. If they're extremely hard, well then that's a not great, because then not everyone will know what the song is in the session. You know, you gotta, you gotta go with what the people know, so then everyone can play and it's more of an experience for you. Number two is Morrison's Jig. This one I personally love because I am a whistle player. And this song has a lot of rolls and cuts in it, which the roll is the one of the most extravagant things about the whistle that you can play with the whistle. And so once you get that roll down, your songs are gonna be sounding 100% better. Basically this whole song is just repeated rolls I wouldn't say the whole song, but a lot of the sections, the measures, are rolls. And because of that, it's really fun to play. It's basically just roll, roll, a couple notes, and then roll, roll, roll. <laughs> so a lot of whistle players have a lot of fun playing this, but other instruments also love this because rolls are also a very important aspect of the Irish music community, not just us whistles. So, if you want to learn that one, it's also down in the description. This is how it sounds. 
Don't you like it? And number one, I was actually surprised about this, but it's called the Butterfly Slip Jig. Not a lot of slip jigs are known, to me at least, by as popular, but I do know this one as extremely popular because it has three parts, but those parts are extremely short and they're extremely fun to play. They're, the song is kind of almost haunting in a way, but it's, it's very captivating as you go along with it. It's very simple, so everyone in your whole session can learn it if you want to give them the notes, you know? Give them the notes and then you can all play with it. But this has been added to almost 4,500 tune books. That is a lot. A lot of people add this because it is popular in any session you go to. You have, you pretty much want to know this song and the four before I, that I just said. If you do, then you'll pretty much get by in a session. You don't have to know every song in a session. No one does. Well, some people do, but they're, they're out there. But really, the most common ones are the ones that you want to get down. You don't need to have this extravagant tune in your head for a session, because if no one knows it, then you're going to be playing solo. But the butterfly is really popular, so if you want a session tune, I would go with this one. It is number one in the books. Sessions are about building a community of musicians. Really, you walk into a session and you make friends like that, because music is just this aspect of life that people can connect to on a different level. And that is why you really want these popular tunes in your head, so then you can really connect with the person sitting next to you or even across from you. One of you will connect with a fiddle and you're a tin whistle. I mean, it's great. <laughs> I have met so many people by going into these sessions. I cannot, I cannot say it enough. And with these times that we're in right now, I know it's tough to go to sessions because, I mean, you have to take off your mask to play your flute or your whistle or your pipes, but fiddles don't really have to do that, but that's okay. And so there are tons of live sessions out there. What you do is you just go to the site. I don't have a site, but you just go to the site of the people playing, play, studying off the session. You can just search up live sessions, Irish music, and it should come up. And what you do is you just search it up and they have a list of all the tunes that you're going to play that session. So it's not like you're calling out in a regular session. You just, you can sit there and play with the person. Of course, you're not in like a Google meeting or something, but you can just play. So it feels like you're playing with the person. And that's great because it's a social aspect that we don't really have these days. Anyways, <laughs> I could go on about sessions, but I won't. I hope that this helped a little bit about sessions and this information really did make you decide to really learn one of these so then you can connect. I hope that you learned some of these. They're really fun. And if you don't, if you already know them, well that's great. Maybe you learned something from this video. If you did, comment below what it was. If you did learn, you know, show me the video that you that you played it with. I love that. I hope this helped in any way. And if it did, hit the subscribe button so then I, you can get more talks like this and Tin Whistle tutorials because I do a, a lot of those for a lot of tunes and I take so many recommendations. I have a list of them down somewhere. <laughs> well, I guess this is goodbye. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll come back next time. Bye!